Hi everyone, welcome back to Shalama Craft. I am going to make me some pink um, glue. I did um, the one with the coffee and um, I have empty, um, I did this one here, I did with the coffee. So I did that one, just coffee and um, the, I think, it's Elmer's glue and coffee. So what I'm going to do, I want, I, I would like to make me some pink ones. So what I did, I have some, I have a little bit of coffee in here and, um, I am going to make myself some pink one because I am doing a lot of, um, lately I, um, I have been, not I am, I have been, um, doing a lot of swamp lately and, um, I been I have been used up some of my stuff, so I gotta remake uh, some of my stuff. So what I'm gonna do, I am going to make me some pink glue. So I have myself some um. I did I say this already, huh? Clumsy me. So we got a small bottle. This came off of, um some chicken um, powder um, when you make soup you put that in it so it's a it's a like you know pretty good um, close tight and I like the size of the bottle so you you know you could dip in there I have to get me I have a few more up in my kitchen so so we're gonna make um pink glue I have myself some Marta stored glitter paint pink then I have a regular, um, it's like pearl, pearl, iridescent, um, pink paint. So we'll add those two. And I have myself some coffee. I have, I had a, a stir here. I don't know where this beer too, but, um, I am going to use this, um, that you price tag from a flower. My husband got it for me for Easter. So I will use that to stir it up. And I got my giant giant bottle of our Elmer's glue. So we're gonna pour some glue in there. First, what I'm gonna do, add the paint. And I am going to make myself some pink glue. And I um I think I'm I am going to I saved a bunch of um onion skin that I am going to make me some onion skin paper. Okay, we got some pink, this one here, the pearl iridescent. You can see it's pearl looking. Okay. So we are going to get some of these shimmer, sparkly one in there too. So this is gorgeous. Look at this. It's dried and it's beautiful. This glue is beautiful. Not glue, this paint is beautiful. So we're gonna add some of that, these in here. Some of this one here. Okay, let's see what we achieve. I am gonna pour myself some glue. I can't open the bottle. My hand hurts. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna pour some glue in there. There's a lot of glue in this bottle. A lot of glue in this bottle. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, let's clean this up. I'm gonna have to get that all dirty up. Um, put this one aside for now, under my table. Okay, let's stir this up and see what we got. I never done this before, so I am giving it a try. I am giving it a try. See what can I achieve from making me some pink 
glitter glue, um, glitter glue. Make me some pink glue. Oh, it is beautiful. Wow. Okay, and we're gonna try it out. See how it works. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. Hmm. So I got the coffee one and now I have this one here with a little bit of coffee and two different um pink um paint from Marta Stored. So I'm mixing it well. And I have myself some paper over here. We'll try it out and see how it works. And um, I have myself a paintbrush here too. I want to try this out. We'll clean this. Is this did a pretty good job for me. So we'll just cook that out there and clean them up. I might need this to use again. I'll stick that in there for now. Let's try this, see how it works. Oh, wow. And it has that sheen to it. Oh, wow. Let's put some more. Oh. I am going to put some more down. Let it dry. Oh, that's beautiful. And it has that iridescent um, paint, the paint that has the glitter in it. It is beautiful. I know the camera won't show you that, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Let's use the, most of this paper and see how it works. I have um, been experimenting with uh, making my own, um, what do you call it? Um, Oh my God, ink spray, is it ink spray? I've been, I have been experimenting making that too. So this one, when it's dry, it's gonna look really beautiful. I could put it on something. I have to make, a, um, I got two more swap to do. I got two already ready to go out. I've been busy doing swap too. So I decided to come on and, and do do a little bit of um, a little bit of this too. I haven't been doing a video for a while, so guys, I'm sorry for that. And um, this, when it dries, it will look beautiful. I can see the um, glitter in there. So that's my pink glitter glue, gorgeous and beautiful stick that in the water and all I use is um this one has um, glitter in it and this is from Marta Sword and this one here is from Marta Sword and it's like has the pearl iridescent look to it so there goes I made myself some pink um glue and you can see in the bottom it has a little bit of iridescent to it so I made myself coffee glue uh, and some pink glue. You could, I could even shake it up. Let me see. Yeah, you can even shake it up or stir it up when you're ready to use it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love that. Okay, that's what I use to make my pink glitter glue. And um, I had. In one of the video, I said I have coffee um, in a bottle for like almost two years. So I am going to try it now and see how it works in front of you guys. I haven't used it. It's still in the bottle. So I am going to try this and see what's the color it gives me for after two years. What's the color? You can see it's staining my... Um, that's okay. It's This one here is for... Um, First crap, anyway. Oh, that coffee aged pretty good. Oh yeah. Okay, we're gonna um, put some paper down and see what we get. I don't wanna stain nothing though. So we got some paper here. I 
and um, of course the sprayer won't work right now right oh wow oh wow look at that color oh nice look at that color that's beautiful I am thinking of adding some coffee, ah, not coffee, adding some, um, what do you call it? Some alcohol, so then the, it dries pretty good. Look, I just take the tissue paper and wipe it off, and it works. It's beautiful. Look at that, all that, um, look how beautiful that is. After two years, I had this coffee in here. And it doesn't spray that good. I think I might have to clean the nozzle. Um, I have to, let's see. Oh no, that's a big glob. That's a big glob. That's a big glob. So what we'll do, see what's the best way it will spray, okay? Guys, I haven't been using this, so bear with me. And now I think it... Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now I could get the whole paper covered. There we go. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. My pink glue. And then, after two years... There goes my coffee in a bottle after two years. I'll do another page. And now I don't have the coffee dyed. I like the brown looking because I am going to use these to make my, um, I am gonna use this because I have to make a, um, a journal page. And it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I have uh, iron for my craft room. I have to, dug it out I have no idea where I put it but it should be somewhere let's do this one I am making a mess of everything guys and then I gotta clean I have to clean clean okay what I'll do I'll just put this in front of it you guys can see right wait I'm going to do this one now Okay, this one sprays much better now. Oh, look at that. Looks like the coffee spilled on it. And it gives it a nice aged look. So the coffee aged so long all these years and it gives it that nice aged look. And that is beautiful beautiful i could do one more if you guys want show you guys i don't mind this getting dirty because it's old it got paint all over it so i don't mind let me grab one more piece of paper and um show you guys i have to get in here I was gonna coffee dye some paper, but um, I decided to use use this use this up. So there we go. After two year, and it's still it's still good. It's aged really aged pretty good in there. It's really good and if I want to make it lighter I could get a bigger bottle and add some water to it and make it um, lighter but I like the dark the darker the paper it looks like really really nice I love it how beautiful is this this is the back and this is the front and it smells really good I don't know what did I put in there when I make when I make it but it has like sparkly on it too I don't know if I add anything to it when I made it but um it has shimmer in it the paper has shimmer on it and it's beautiful I loved it for the two year that I had this and um 
I had a small craft room. I used to work from um, where I work. Um, me and my husband used to work. And um, that's when I started making all these stuff and I haven't got to use them. So what I did, I just put everything away and um, I had a YouTube channel for a while since um, I think was since 2015 and I never used it. And um, I just started using my YouTube channel, um, let's see, about five months ago. That's when I started using it. I make video, I made my video and stuff. That's when I started using it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, now I love it. So I am going to try my best. I am going to try my best to... Um, come up with some more video because um i have experiment with the ink the marker alcohol and make your own own um ink spray so next video when i come back i'll show you guys my ink spray that i made i know there's a lot of video out there making it but i decided to give it a try too so i make some I don't have all these um, glimmer mist and all kind of spray. I just use what I got around me and um, I try to make my own stuff to use in my craft and I try to use what I got. So there you go guys. I def definitely find, not definitely, I don't know where my English come from. I finally used it and I love it. It's beautiful, beautiful color beautiful color so if you guys like this video please like share subscribe thank you guys for watching before i go i would like to say you make i made this and if you guys want to give it a try and see how it works and it's beautiful 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 it's beautiful so thank you guys for watching bye bye